Oh hello everyone. Today we are fixing a MacBook that a customer brought for us to fix. This is a 2016 or 2017 MacBook with no touch bar. So first of all, we need to see how the data bar's communication is like. So type C, there is no communication here. It looks like there is a communication here and the winds of goes and the winds of it comes and it goes so here no the communication here let's just get to it to see what's oh my goodness this does not look good So our PP bus is not shorted. Let's just let's pull the motherboard out. Let's just take a quick scan under the microscope. If there is something we are missing. I don't have, oh, I don't know any history about this laptop. So this is U3100 and this is U3200. So this is U3200 and this is U3100. So we are reading 5 volts. So we are going to check the LDOs. 0. You have 3 volts here. And you have 5 volts. So this is 0. Right. And checking the other ports, we have zero. And we have two point two. No. Just imagine. We have one point five. It's kind of pulsing. You see. And this is two point two. You're supposed to have at least five volts here. That's when it's not negotiating twenty volts. We should have at least five volts. We should have five volts here, but here we are, we are having a pulsing voltage here, and we're having about two point two, and this is zero. Here as well, here we have zero as well, and we have three v three. We have five volts, so this is supposed to be the PP three v three g three volts for the USB. We have eight to nine ohms, which is bad. Here looks good. Here looks bad. And here also is part we have 67 ohms here and we have over a mega ohm here and u3200 is the main chip that is responsible for negotiating the 20 volts meaning if this is bad there's no way this one will be able to turn on but this one can be good and this one will still be bad but yet you're still going to have this computer turn on so it looks like this is the master chip this is the master usb c pd controller and this is the slave so that is how it is designed so we took this chip off just because it is a slave it has a low resistance and then it has and it's also giving us a pulsing voltage you still get it so that's the main reason why we took this off so we let the board cool down a little bit and then we will check for the resistance on this two capacitors so reading we have like we still have 87 and we still have so at this point i'll be left with no other option than, than to take away the master pd controller you get it so i'll come with my flux one more time taking our reading 
we had like 67 ohms now we are reading like kilo ohms and we had 10 mega ohms here and we are still good here this one had like 87 before and we still have 87 so looking for looking on the schematics you can see the pp3 v3 g3 this is for the b and this is for the a you can see there is a resistor that joins that connects that brings pp3 v3 to this pd controllers so you can see this resistor is the same so i'm going to check for the resistance on that resistor and then on that pp3 v3 and then we still have 86 so i'll check on the pdf values and then this is like a zero ohm resistor they get it so it tells us that we definitely have a shot on the pp3 v3 g3 hot this is the pp3 v3 g3 watts and we are reading like 87 ohms to ground so 87 ohms to ground that is a low resistance on the pp3 v3 rail so we need to figure out what is causing that right so with that what do you think we should do i think it will be best that we bring in our thermal camera and you can see the real where all of these pp3 v3 is going to on the motherboard right so without much i do i'll just prepare my thermal camera and then the resistance on this is too high so i'll just crank it up to like three volts we're having just like that's of which i know may not tell us exactly what is getting hot can't see anything over that maybe let's check on this side where we are having some pp so it looks like we found our corporates that is just this i see I believe so so I did injected some voltage here and this one showed up as the only bad boy so I'm just going to add some fluffs and then And then I'm going to take this boy out. Uh, that's good. So. Can we take some reading now? The motherboard is cooling down a bit, but I still want to take the reading just to know now we are not having 8 7 ohms, but rather we are reading mega ohms. So this was our bad boy. Probably 
we can just put these chips back on without having to reball because We are good here and then this boy I think um, this ch the master chip was bad actually before the master chip was a bad one yes the master chip was a bad one so we will have to replace the master chip so I'm taking this one off looking for donor bots I think I got this I got this and this is the bad one I don't know if you can see but they are the same thing so I'm just going to So just like that, I'm going to replace this boy. Yeah. So let's take some reading just to know, just to be sure that we're still good on the just to be sure that we are good on these values. Exactly, we are good. We are good. So now I'm just left to replace this guy. So I got this CD3217 from a donor board and I'll just quickly reball it.
Put it there. Just like that. Uh, yeah. Just make sure these are properly rebuilt and then. Then I can add some fresh. I just don't want to rig this thing off. Just like that. Almost ready. Yes. Now we are good. Now wait for this to cool down a little bit and then we will test so now let's take on the J3 hot we are good we are good as well these are all good values Volts. So we had a chime and we have the apple logo so this is indeed another happy customer thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video